Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We're having a look at how Cineform can pretty much transform your footage. And uh, what we've got here is the footage I took at the Sydney Fireworks using the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition. We've got uh, the cam raw footage with ProTune turned on on the right hand side, 1080p, 60 frames per second. And on the left hand side, we've got the Kodak 444 applied and uh, pretty much the color correction as well. So uh, it is amazingly powerful software. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to use it and how to make your awful footage much, much better. So we went diving here, Tweed Heads in uh, New South Wales, and as you can see, when you go down that far down, uh, it was around seven or eight meters, you start losing the red spectrum. So the camera raw footage and GoPro Cineform allowed me to put the red spectrum back in. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to use Cineform, and uh, I think this one's a really good sort of example. I mean, this one's an extreme example of, you know, pretty much, like, look at all that noise. And uh, that's that's a really extreme, uh, that took a, quite a bit of work for me. Um, that's a pretty extreme example of how Cineform pretty much rocks. So what you're going to do is, uh, I'll just close this off so you can see the total process involved. We're going to click on Cineform. And uh, we're going to go to import because we're importing stuff into Cineform codec. We're going to import the files and I'm going to go to the just the original files. So this was me. Oh, this is terrible. Uh, this was me going diving. So we went diving in Tweed Heads, New South Wales. It was awesome. It was It was really, really fantastic. And the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition just demolished this. It was really quite good. As you can see we're, we're pretty much at the bottom of the seabed at the moment and it's looking very sort of blue-green and that's because at that depth uh, the red spectrum just doesn't go that far uh, underwater. So we followed a shark. I'm trying to find a shark. A leopard shark which I totally thought didn't have teeth uh, and we are <laughs> we we're actually quite wrong about that one. These ones do have have teeth. It was the wobbygongs that don't have teeth. So this was the original footage. It is just missing a lot of that red spectrum that we we really want. And uh, following it around, swimming after a shark with teeth, probably not the wisest idea. We add that to our conversion clip uh, and depending on how fast your computer is, uh, this may or may take a lot longer than... well mine is pretty fast so it's, as you can see it's, it's converting it to the Cineform codec fairly fast. Alright, so this is the uh, Cineform Studios codec which has been applied to the footage and we're just going to start editing from here. You can turn ProTune, you can do all these sort of presets as well uh, to get a different look on your footage uh, which is just the easy way to do color correction. What we're going to do is just go to none and uh, ProTune is always sort of a good area to start with and I'm just going to sort of try and get a bit more red into this footage because uh, we kind of lost a lot of red in that footage. So I'm going to bring that down a bit. And you kind of just keep playing around with it until you get uh, the footage that you want or get the effects that you want. And because it's raw footage, it allows you to pretty much do uh, what you want to the footage. So as you can see, we can already see the shark a lot better here and this is pretty good this is uh this is looking fairly good at the moment and it's a lot closer to what we actually saw down there and that's the advantage of raw footage is that you can pretty much dictate what your eyes actually saw because when it's camera raw, it's it's pretty much it's not color tuned it's not like it's like those settings the white balance is off and uh, when it's raw footage it lets you play around with it a lot better uh, and that's pretty much why you would use Cineform Studio. Even if it's not raw footage, um, it's still worth it to color correct your footage to get that look that you really, really want. So, because there's obviously no no point spending so much money on a diving trip and then having the footage look really sort of blue green. Um, this is a much better alternative. So once you have done with that footage, uh, export it to MP4, and it'll export it depending on how fast your computer is. Obviously. Uh, this bar will go across. All right, so that's almost done. And uh, once that's done, you go into... I'm going into video, which is my default save location. 
and it should be here. So it's here. You've got the AVI file, which is much bigger as well. So less compression, 325 megabytes, only for a few seconds. The MP4, on the other hand, is 33.5 uh, megabytes. Using, uh, if you are using sort of professional grade video editing software, uh, I use Corel Video Studio Pro. Uh, if you are using that, do you use the AVI? It will turn out much, much better because you're re-rendering it and it re-renders better in AVI, in my opinion anyway. So I'm going to add that to this clip. You can have a look at it and uh, I'll explain further. All right, so this was the uh, footage after it's gone through processing. Uh, we just went through this and as you can see, much, much improved. Uh, it's pretty close to what I actually saw when I was down that deep. And this was probably about eight meters down. So do encourage you guys to film in Cam Raw. So you turn ProTune on and then you set white balance to Cam Raw. And, and yeah, be adventurous. You know, do use uh, the knowledge that you've gained from this video to try out your color corrections and make your footage look a lot better. Uh, and ask any questions that you need to down in the section below and uh, do subscribe as well. So I will see you guys next time. Do subscribe to the channel and uh, it's been Dan K for another video. See you later.